One of the keys to academic success is having a good memory. A lot of kids will memorize things by staring at a book over and over and over again and hope it sinks in. When I was young, I started memorizing things in fun, mnemonic ways, and I still do today. When I wanted to memorize the presidents of the United States, I put five presidents into each sentence, and then I memorized the sentences. And then it was easy to recall the presidents. Here's the way I memorize the presidents of the United States. But when I want to memorize something, the way that works best for me is to memorize five things at a time through short sentences, which enable me to recall anything on a list instantly. When I wanted to memorize the presidents of the United States, I made up sentences putting in five presidents in each sentence. Then if I wanted to recall, say, the 28th president, which is Woodrow Wilson, all I would have to do is recall sentence number six, which contains presidents 26 through 30. Here are my sentences that should make memorizing the presidents a snap. George and Jeff made money. Quickly, Jack drove the van to Harry's tie shop. He poked Zach and said, fill up the pair of cannons. Abe and John were granted a hayfield. Arthur went to Cleveland with Harry. Cleveland, no kidding. Teddy ate taffy with Will. Hardly cool. Frank tell the truth to Howard and Kenny. John nicked the Ford car again. So now, Zach, if I would say to you, sentence number four, Abe and John were granted a hayfield. Can you tell me which presidents represent the words? Abe Lincoln. Right. Johnson. Which Johnson? Andrew Johnson. Awesome. Um, Grant. Great. Hayes. Great. And Garfield. Wow, good job, Zach. Zach, you are a rock star. So you did that in a couple seconds. So imagine if you had an hour to study that. As you can see, we stopped at 40 presidents, Ronald Reagan, the 40th president, because I did five at a time. And when we, it was brainetics, we were only on 44 presidents, so I didn't have a new sentence made. So the last five presidents, I use a sentence, four B's and a T, which is pretty easy. You have Bush, B, George H.W. Bush, Bill, Bill Clinton, Bush, George W. Bush, Barack for Barack Obama, and T for Trump. Bush. Bill, Bush, Barack, Trump, four B's and a T.